No helmets, no pads, no timeouts, no blocking, no forward passes. Whoa! Oh, you, you like it, Brian? I like it. I just like the voice. Yeah. Second biggest name in rugby league, Rusty Crowe. I especially like the bit when he goes thicker in the middle. <laughs> We have we got that bit? Can you play that? Just thicker in the middle. Close your eyes, everyone. Okay. It could be well, on maps. Okay. Well, the biggest name in rugby league is going to join us right now. Matthew Johns, good afternoon. Good bloke, great mate. How are you, Phil? <laughs> oh, How are you, boys? I'm going good, Matthew. Oh, just on that, the coal miner pounced on this, and he's 100% right that Nick Revolt was apparently was in the Super Bowl oh, coverage. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's full-time over there, isn't he? What is doing there? Did you see that, Matty? I saw it last year or the year before. He just pops up. Come <laughs> wow, unbelievable! He, he's oh. he, let me guess. Let me guess, sugar. Right Is on. he a dude that wears suits too short for his ankles, no socks, and boat shoes? Don't know. Okay. Don't yeah, know. AFL. Yes. But what he Please. says, um, so he's referring to the AFL, and he calls it. This is on ESPN. He says our corresponding sport, NFL. Is AFL. AFL, yeah, our corresponding sport in Australia. Oh my God! Please, please. <laughs> oh, no oh, no further questions, Your Honour. Oh my God! I remember the last photo I saw Nick Re- Nick Rewald <laughs> and uh, Rusty Crow said this about him. <laughs> oh, you missed it. That is slightly thicker through the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, where have you been today? Oh, okay. I never thought I'd hit well. You hit the age, but I never thought I'd. You go out to like you start doing gigs um, with your son. So me and Cooper today went out to uh, Seven Hills, the Hudson Hotel, for the Super Bowl. How was yeah. it? Yeah, it's, it was awesome, <laughs> mate. I tell you, like I love mate Fletch. The people of the West yes. are the best. Salt, as, salt. mate. As the. Um, Lead singer of the uh, Doors. What's his name again? Uh, Jim, Morrison. Jim Morrison. Yeah, Jim Morrison. The West is the best. Yeah. It is great people. We went out there, and uh, the great thing about Super Bowl Day, boys, is that you actually don't need to apologise for having a beer before eleven a.m. <laughs> oh, oh, that's it. Well, it kicked off at ten, so I'd imagine no. you had one at nine. Yeah, yeah, eight th- eight forty-five. Um, yeah. what, did you? What did you think of the whole? Well, what do you think of the game? Because I know you're not a, a massive fan of it, are you, Matthew? No, I I, I do like it, Fletch. I, mm. I actually really, I, I do like it. It's just like evidence. I Someone asked me, like, who's going to win? I think I said to you blokes the other day, I cashed out with San Francisco as soon as they were up against the Chiefs because you just can't beat Mahomes. Mm. Mm. You know, those those blokes. And and he had a bludger of the first half and... Uh, he does that quite a bit. Like sometimes he, he slow builds into a game, but the first half of a game, whether it be NFL or rugby league, mate, it's like gambling wise, you, you're playing dollar hits on the pokies, and the last quarter, you're in the high rollers. It's just like a different game, and that's where the best halfbacks, yep. like we saw with Nathan Cleary, and the best quarterbacks get them home. Just crazy. You've ever been lucky, haven't we? The, the AFL grand final, the NRL grand final, and this, just been all thrillers. Yeah, hundred percent right though, Fletch. Went, and that's why you scored the last try in a grand final. Mm. Young man. Yeah, that's right. Big game. Pressure. Big, some big let it, some get eaten by it. Big game player. <laughs> uh, what about the Purdy situ- uh, The Purdy decision to go for the it field. Wasn't goal. his decision. Well, he could have oh. go against it. Shanahan. Yeah, coach. He could have yeah. gone, gone against. Yeah, but this is my this is my theory on it, Matthew. You're up against Patrick Mahomes. Could be the best quarterback we've ever seen. You got to take your risk. Risk versus yes. reward, Matthew. <laughs> yes, I'm with you, Fletch. I'm mm. with you. I like the way you're thinking. I like Purdy. He's uh, actually him and Brady both went 199 in the draft. Yep. And he's a very unlikely looking quarterback. He's sort of like that baby face, sensitive looking guy. Mm. But geez, he's done good. They're, they're saying that it's gone a bit viral. That they were saying that he looks like uh, in the press conference. One of the journalists Oswald. said, "You look like Lee Harvey Oswald." Mm. And, and he didn't. He goes. I don't know. He didn't know. He didn't. He was unaware of who he was. And I actually thought he looked like Bulldog Richie. That's oh right. I, I saw Bulldog Richie on Friday night. He's looking very, I did very well. good. I did pterodactyl arms. I know. I saw. Him. I did, mate. You reckon I got small hands, Bulldog? Oh. Mate, it's up. He makes my hands look gigantic. How, how did you end up on? Uh, They're fr- like paws. How did you end up on Friday? Okay. What did we do Friday, Fletch? Friday we went to the Ricky Stewart Foundation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so 
we locked horns, and you left about, I reckon, 6? No, six? a bit later, about, about uh, 7.30, 8. 7.30, okay. Yeah. Well, me and my son Jack, mm -hmm. he was like, oh, mate, I, let's go, we'll go here and have a beer. So we walked in there, must have been, well, must have been about 8, 8.30 after you'd left, and um, we left there one thirty. Oh, that's a good day. That's a great day. Yeah. That's a good now. Um, Benny Benny Fordham, who's on radio in the mornings on Two GB. Yeah. I thought was trying to take the Mickey out of uh, Matthew. Matthew, do you remember this conversation? Remember he was on stage and he went oh. to you and he said, "Come on, Matthew, have you got a question for Peter Valandis?" Trying yes. to put him on a spot. And he, I'm. Do you want to role play? Yeah. Do you remember yeah, yeah. what he said? Do you yeah, remember what less, you said? Yeah, he went. Okay, uh, question of nowhere to uh, Matthew. Got a question for Peter. And uh, no one puts baby in the corner. Yeah, but no, so he said. I'm so he said to you, Matthew. He <laughs> this goes, is on air. This is on in front of everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah try to put him in his place. And yeah. we come on. You're you're supposed to be funny. You're supposed to be a host. You host TVs. You host radio. Come on, Matthew. And then Matthew mm. retorted with this. Get this up, you Fordham. <laughs> I said, uh, Peter. It's Peter Valandis. I said, Peter, you're standing on a uh, river bank. In the river, there's two uh, brothers drowning. One's named Matthew. The other one's called Andrew. You can only save one. Which one do you save? So right. they got a laugh. Yeah. And, and, Peter went, yeah, Peter, yeah. and Peter went, uh, well, is Andrew in the audience? And he went, no, which is why I'm saving you, Matthew. And then Matthew, yeah. you and Matthew, said this. And people said, people think that me and Andrew are blueing, but we're not. We caught up the other day. In fact, Andrew was coaching this young guy. And I said, I said, look, uh, Joey said to me, he said, Matty, this young guy is the smartest guy I've ever coached. Ooh. So I thought, okay. Yeah. So I went to the kid and I said, okay, young fella, what's four plus two? And he said, six. And Joey went, Matty, just give him another go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was very good. It probably didn't, uh, in, in the context of it, and Matthew didn't sound like Russell Crowe as he does now, but um, it was very, very funny. I thought it, I thought it was very, very good. Uh, let's Matthew. Have you seen the footage? Oh, you don't have a WhatsApp. You don't have WhatsApp, so you probably haven't seen it. But oh, video, no, I get all the things you sent through. For no, that. not that. <laughs> right. oh, oh, what about the last? The, what about the last <laughs> one I sent about oh, the? Oh, mate. that was awesome. Oh, mate, unbelievable. I <laughs> know, oh, it's unbelievable. Um, I you, never knew you could do it that like that. <laughs> have, have you? And I don't know a dog's tail goes up that high. Hey, um, uh, Matthew, there's a footage of two Brisbane Broncos. Um, Getting in a little bit of a ruckus, Adam like, Reynolds yeah. and Paddy Carrigan. Do you think they'll be in trouble? No. Nah. Nah. It would be Fletch, like Joel. It would be madness yeah. for anyone to step in and worry about that. You know, it's like like when you're out there and like you're out having a few beers with a boy. Like that is, you can sometimes bring on your own, like, um, trouble. The NRL could go, mate, we'll investigate this and yeah, go any yeah, further. Yeah. Just go, mate, it's two mates. They're out, like, honestly, it's nothing. I would have loved back in the day to see me and the bloke we were just talking about when we were out and about what we <laughs> used to get up to. No, no. Mate, no, because you, was... you wouldn't have had a TV show and I wouldn't have a job, so <laughs> <laughs> let's not go down there, Matthew. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Two shows. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> And an award-winning podcast. How you got? You got a Three. new pod. I know we spoke about it last week, but you got a new podcast coming out. Yeah, backstage, Moon Coops. Mm. Yes. Yep. How yep. many in the we can, did. Matty? <sighs> Charles, I reckon we got about six. We did Naves yesterday. Mm. Naves was outstanding, really good. We did Nathan, Nathan Cleary. Nathan was unbelievable. I tell you what, what it was about. Like we interviewed him on about, um, like that seventeen best big game performance I've ever seen yep. by the grand final. But that 17 minutes was like, has taken Nathan from being a star, now transcending the sport. Like, And he was like, just talking about how his life has changed you know, since since that game. And he even admitted, because he's such a modest boy, but uh, he was talking about how different he gets, like how different his life has become since then. He said... Uh, he told he, he told me a story. I said, like, you know, getting shot long angle lens by paparazzi. And he said that the paparazzi once or media camped out the front of his mum and dad's place. And um, his sister walked out the front of the house. And um, they all started photographing her. And she raced inside really upset, as you would be. And then um, Nathan's mum, Rebecca, who's a very tough, strong woman, walked out and just said, mate, 
basically in a different sort of language I'll use, <laughs> mate, just piss off and get out of here. Oh. So it, it just shows you like, you know, and, and he's very lucky, Nathan, because, well, well, Nathan will handle it because, you know, the way he's brought up, you know, I think being calm and collected, you know, like he's old man, it's in the DNA, but yeah, it's it's tricky, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tricky thing. And I suppose going into next year with the Panthers, you know, we're talking, I was talking to a few blokes today and they're like, you know, do you think Penrith again? I said, I do, but long sustained success brings its challenges as well. You know what, I'll tell you, smart, and he's back at the Roosters now, Holbrook, Justin Holbrook, who you probably play with many. I did play with Titsy, but although, like, only a couple of games, I never really played that much reserve grade, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he, um, <laughs> he, I was asking him one day, because he was coaching one of these junior rep teams. Hang on, and before we get into that, Matthew, do you need a, um, a glass of water or anything? Yeah, I do, mate. I'm yeah. dead. Go, and have a, go and have a quick squig. Yeah, I'm good. I'm oh, good, good. Fletcher. Okay. I'll last. I'll, I'll do just, it. You sound a bit throaty. I am throaty. Mm. It's, but, mate, I'll, me and Cooper were coming back, and I said to Coops, he said to me, I said, mate, do you want to uh, pull up, just get a, another beer before we go home? And he goes, that, this is four days in a row for you. And I went, no, no, no. And I counted back and I went, actually, it, it is. Yeah. And he high-fived me. Yeah, good. But your oh. Vegas fit. Oh, far out of you. Oh, God. I tell you, nothing could ever get your Vegas fit after we went what we went through before, Fletch. Yeah. I'll, say, I'll say, Matty, to, to Fletch, um, how much do you reckon after watching today's game, and I said this to Matt, uh, Matty Rogers as well, how many have watched today's game there in Vegas and said, right, that's enough for me. I'm booking a ticket to Vegas. Yeah. Mate, I, it's, um, as uh, Fletch will tell you, like Joel, it's such a great stadium. It is it, absolutely incredible. And like today when they showed the, the vision and bringing in the, like the ground, uh, bringing it out, out, of, uh, out of the stadium under the roof and bringing it in, it was pretty amazing. It, uh, it'll be unbelievable. Like, uh, I, I think the promotion for rugby league is Fletch will tell you over there like through Lachlan Murdoch he's made Fox Sports America just pump it non-stop it'll I think it'll be a huge thing for the game I think it'll be hugely successful who have mm. we got locked in over there like big names like Hugh Jackman will likely be uh, Hugh Jackman uh, Brian R- Fletcher yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Russell Crowe will be there yes. I think we've got some audio from Russell Crowe now <laughs> Uh, think, slightly thicker through the middle. That's, a, that's exactly right. He's uh, he, talking about Hindy. He can't, <laughs> he can't wait to get over there. I reckon there'll be a couple of um, B grade celebrities. I know there's a couple of Aussies that are on Days of Our Lives. Vince uh, Colosimo is going to be there. Oh maybe. yeah, yes. Uh, Joe Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Dolce will be there. Uh, shut up your face, fame. Yes, yes. He's definitely yeah, yeah. be there. Marty Coffey. Rolf, right. Yep. Yeah, Red yep. Simon. Ralph yeah. Macho is going to be there. Is he? Terry from yeah. Westamora. Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Terry from Westamora. No, there'll be a, there'll be a plethora of um, Australian stars getting around it, I feel. And some colourful characters as well, I'd reckon. Well, a, a lot of car- uh, colourful characters can't actually get into America. Mm. The ones we yes. sort of know. I've got a yes. certain, uh, about three or four of my mates who can't unfortunately go because <laughs> apparently counterfeit notes don't work over. <laughs> <laughs> work over. Oh, mate, you, They're oh, just a, party poopers over there. Uh, they really are. Aren't they what? I mean, he doesn't love a counterfeit note. Uh, hey, Matty, what did you make? I oh, know we, we, a lot of Manly supporters are you know, up and about, but they really played a uh, an understrength South Sydney side. Do you see Manly, Matthew, making the eight? Yes, I do. Yep. I, I think Brooks will be. I th- like look, it's an amazing signing, Luke Brooks, to land him and playing on that left hand side, which is his sweet spot. And it's the first time, Fletch, in Brooks's career, that actually he is the second banana. Mm. Like all the pressure is not on him. And um, actually, I'm looking over my shoulder here. <laughs> I got Cooper looking at me. He actually <laughs> took Cooper's jersey. <laughs> he retired Cooper, but but he will be he will be uh, like I, I think he'll be outstanding. Uh, the mail I get is Tom Travojevic. His body is as good as it's ever been. Mm-hmm. So I, I I do I actually I I see Manly as um, a top four side. Top four. You know I think who, they'll go that good. Wow. Manly signed a bloke called John Clark who. Had oh a yeah! Great career Warrington? in England. War- Warrington Hooker. ultimately got involved with the English rugby, but he had identified. He believed that Tommy Turbo's injuries were related to his ankles, so he's done a lot of work in the off season, something to do with his ankles. 
Just, right. So yeah. Clark, he's just looking at ankles all. Yeah, he's a bad ankle steerer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind doing that. Yeah. I remember I went to, um, I was in New York, and we went to Victoria's Secret. Oh. Uh, Brit wanted to go to Victoria's Secret. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we, <laughs> we went to Victoria's Secret. And you know when, um, uh, it was like three, it's a flagship store. Yes. Anyway, I'm, mm. I'm in there and I'm walking around. I just see like six or seven dudes just sitting down. Mm. Um, you know, their wives are shopping and I'm sitting there and I just thought, I'll sit down with you. Anyway, it was, I don't know what was going on, but the reason why, <laughs> they're underneath the stairs, the dirt bags. Oh, no. It's heavy. It's really? heavy. But they did it on purpose. That's the whole rot there. Catch what? Swerve Central. That's exactly right. And there was this bloke coming off the street, sitting down. There was a bloke on the paper pretending on the paper. Another guy pretending to be asleep. Oh, that's uh, ordinary. It was ordinary, but I didn't do it. I left. That's all. I definitely yeah. I got out of there. Hey, ask, you, I went straight to Springfield. Ask Matthew out. when when we did our role play, what you asked of Teddy and DCE. Well, I just said, look, if I'm uh, Coach Seabold, I'm going to say to DCE, this is I want you to give up Origin. Is that a fair question, Matthew? I or want not? you to give up Origin. I know we wouldn't do it, but mm. yeah, I reckon it is. It's a fair mm. question. Oh, probably not Seabs. It's maybe the clubs to go. You know, I reckon it's time. Um, I tell you, he's. He never gets injured, does he, no. DCE? No. He, he never does. It's funny, like, I never had an appreciation really, um, like, great player, DCE. But there's been lots of other things, out, things said about and on the outside and all the rest. But I said to Cooper, like, Cooper loved him. Mm. Like, just said, mate, he is the best bloke. And he said, amazing player when you're training, communication, everything. But he said, also on night out, he said he's one of the best. Oh. Which which is like, you know, quite secretive. Yeah. Yeah. Because he doesn't look like that guy. He looks like Mr. Responsible, but apparently, <laughs> yeah, really, like one of the blokes you want to be out with. What's his comparison? Like, is he, in the history of his playing career, is he on the same level as, say, Ricky Stewart? Uh, no, I'd say... Uh, that is slightly thicker through the middle. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> DCE, he's not far off. I reckon he's Sturlow-like. But yeah, there, I but reckon. He's, he's up there, isn't he? He's up there with yep, Sturlow. I, I think you're right. I think he is. I'd, I'd put him up there alongside Ricky. Like, you know, we are at the, uh, the Ricky lunch the other day. I was looking at Ricky thinking to myself, remember, like, playing against him in the early 90s, early to mid-90s, and it was like, oh, my God. Like, he, he was that good, Ricky Stewart. And what he's done as a coach has sort of overshadowed and made people forget about him as a uh, as a player. Mate, he was unbelievable. Mm. Like, watching him play and had some horrific injuries. But, mate, I've never... He revolutionised the game as far as kicking, uh, torpedo passing, all that sort of stuff. He he was incredible. Crow pegging. He was big on crow peck. <laughs> crow pegging yeah, and, just, and just, hating. He's very yeah, good. yeah, yeah. And yes. and his niceties out on the field. Like he was really, really nice to young people. Like <laughs> you're, you're coming up yeah. and you're young, and uh, he was really good. Made you feel really smart. Mate, you need, you need to get <laughs> the clip of Robbie John Simpson. He ga- he gave him a barrage for about half a game. Yeah. But remember Mate. back in the day though, like and there wasn't even forty twenties. You'd practice down the park for hours, the one bounce into touch yeah. and the crowd would cheer for something like that, wouldn't they? I yeah. never kicked, but uh, I've never seen him sugar. I went to the old semi final weekends, which were the best, like mm. the at the Sydney football Day stadium. games, Matthew. Day games f- flesh, don't get me started. Know, Day games, grip the football, mm. uh, much better than spectacles. Anyway. But I go and I went, I'm gonna go watch it was Raiders versus the Broncos in 1990. And I said, I'm going to go watch the Raiders warm up, right? And Ricky was putting these tor- torpedo bombs up in the warm that actually like they were shot at, at, out of a machine. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Just popping them. And um, the Broncos went out, uh, uh, sorry, the Raiders went out and beat them by 30 points. And, and like, you got two out of Sydney teams playing, and they were sold out 40,000. At the City Football Stadium. Oh, the days. Oh, the great days. Well, the days. I reckon, though, Joel, I, I think... I was talking to Blake about it today. I said, I actually think those days are back and even more. Yep. I, I've never seen the game in better shape than what it is now. Yeah. It's, it's extraordinary how, how good the game is. I honestly reckon uh, the... the the NRLW carrot beam wave of the girls got so many girls into the game as fans, yep. and it's almost double. So in the AFL, they've 
there's a stack of they've, girls have grown up with it. They love going there, and that's got to double the population, or just about. It's played a massive hand. You, you mean going to the games physically, or just getting or, firstly getting yeah. interested in yeah. the game, yeah. and they're not all going to make it. But all of a sudden, there's a carrot being dangled. Yeah, and the game's exploding. Well, Joel, the really important thing, but we talk about going to Perth and these different places. The most important thing we had to do was like expand exactly where we are to actually ensure that people don't view rugby league as essentially just a male sport. Yep. And the the NRLW, in my opinion, is at the very least the equal of any female sport in the world. Yep. It is that good. Yeah, mm. totally. Because yeah, the they got the the girls got the grounding in touch football. So the core skills are there. But they're tough. It's just it it is so good. And it, mm. it is one of the really uh, big reasons why the game is going through the roof. And last year we, we went through, uh, we went to Magic Round and uh, Fletch, it was like, I sort of remember parts of it. <laughs> it was a pretty big campaign. But going around and like, like they say, the really good, um, probably, when you understand, when the game's going really good, you look in a stadium and there's lots of female um people in the crowd in mm. the crowd uh and there was like female supporters mm. everywhere which shows you how good the game's going and i think there's a couple of things here i think it is and as much as the purists hate it the softening of the head eye rules and yep. all that sort of stuff mm. but also the fact that the nrlw it's not just a male sport anymore yeah and, and the girls are great ambassadors too they like the girls are knockabouts and yeah i like, like yep. millie ball for example like she's so appreciative that where she is yep. in, in her role or get, getting to play now and getting yep. paid to play a professional sport, I think they've they're more appreciative of the of the boys. Jeez, I hope this well, Vegas thing's a big hit. Like well, we Fletch, get the girls, no, we just get the, just the whole thing, yeah. you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, Fletch, about the girls. When uh, I went down the uh, the Gold Coast girls, they bit the roosters to go through the grand That's final. Right, yep. And I was with uh, the Frizzells and Daryl Kelly and Joe Kelly. Now when I come down to the sheds, so I went down there, and mate, honestly, the uh, the girls were. Hilarious, and the amount of swearing, and it was like they, I was like, "Hey, girls, sorry, there's <laughs> that's it." <laughs> this, they were just so good. It was like you know, like they they they're so good for the sport. Like, tell you, well, was, I reckon they should be taking a girls game to Vegas. No, well, I agree. The, uh, to the, get the, the combine, the best way for us to break into the American market is whilst still in its infant stage in the NRLW, go and pinch ten or twelve of the best athletes. Yeah, the females. We're yes. more chance of getting those across. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Matty, we're going to run. Uh, great to chat, young man. Right, up, boys. Look after yourselves. Yeah. I, I, I've got to go. Are you going to have, have another beer, Matthew, before you go? What, what are you going to do now? It's a bit of a sore point. Trish came oh, down. Oh, gotcha. She saw that I had a couple of glasses of red wine out of her phone. Yeah. Red wine. <laughs> she goes, do you know how expensive this is? Mm. It's $25, which tells you how much like we spend on wine, how much, mm. how tight we are. Just go paddleboarding so, yeah. again. I want to get, I want to see some more vision of you paddleboarding. That's, that's one of the great yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, saying. yeah. I saw you and Matty White tandem the other day. Oh, I love God, that. That was, good. was that mate. Was that Richo out there as well? Was he on a paddleboard? He was. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, he was, mate. Okay. He was. He was Jeez, out there. Uh, He's really looking good. Let himself go a little bit downstairs, but yeah. I think he looked really good. Hey, we're going to go. We're hashtag, done for the show. Hashtag no conflicts. <laughs> see you, boys. Hashtag <laughs> see you, Matty. Uh, well done, Brian. Big yeah, studio. Well the done, Sugar. Studio. Hey. Uh, well done to Brooksy. Hopefully we have him in person tomorrow. And uh, the Seal Man. Congratulations the on, the, uh, on the win today. Uh, and how about those Chiefs? Chiefs.